Okay, we just successfully completed uh, Advocates University Tier 1 uh, for the fall semester. And so now we are planning to uh, open up registration for spring. Okay, I am planning to do that uh, in, I think the third week in March is when we're planning to uh, start that up and planning to have it done and completed uh, the week before Memorial Day, okay? And so uh, once again, they were they're gonna be recorded sessions, uh, so that will be flexible for any of you parents uh, or advocates that uh, have other commitments, vacations, uh, you're sick or whatever, uh, so that if you miss a live class session, you can still access it. Um, and then also any point that you need to refresh your memory prior to any of our tests, uh, then at that point, you have that opportunity to go back and access uh, these, uh, these sessions, okay? Um, so we are going to open up registration here coming up within the next week uh, to give everybody the opportunity. There will be flexible uh, payment options, uh, probably four broken down into four different payment options for parents that need that. Hopefully, we can also offer uh, uh, some scholarships again. Uh, for those of you out there, um, it will be done in random uh, like we did in the fall. Um, and then on the other side of it, uh, you know, what we always do is we have a midterm and we have a final. Uh, that's how we have it broken down this time. And uh, uh, it's not an easy course, guys, in my viewpoint, uh, and it's not meant to be. But there are a lot of different courses out there and a lot of different options that are out there. And so let me tell you just, you know, the big focus that I want to tell all of you is that gaining knowledge in any area, uh, I think that's great. And I think that it's great for two reasons. Number one is it really does help with your confidence level uh, as an IEP team member because you're sitting there with people that um, are supposed to know this stuff. And in a lot of ways, they project that they know this stuff when in reality, the implementation or their understanding of certain areas of the law just are not that good. And in many, many ways, um, I think a lot of parents, when they find out the truth of the reality, I think that the natural inclination is that they were lied to. And I don't think that that's the case in most respects. What I do, what I do believe and what I have seen over the years of practice in this area, guys, is that ignorance is infectious because ignorant people train other educators uh, in this area of law. And uh, there's just not a lot of oversight with regards to the accuracy of some of this information that is taught and that is put out there, uh, mainly because <clears throat> the state departments don't necessarily train like they should, uh, and the local schools do not train as they should which means that there's a lot of misinformation out there because this area has a lot of information anyway and a lot of ambiguity, purposeful ambiguity, because this law is supposed to be individualized and work for the child, okay? So anytime you're dealing with a law like this, this is why you need accurate information from an expert in the area that understands it from the different perspectives. And so the course book that we use is written from a school board perspective by a school board attorney. And it's a very, very good, reliable book uh, that we use as our guide uh, throughout the course. But then I also uh, provide PowerPoints and explanations of the law from a parent perspective. You need both so that you understand the different nuances. But then the second value to this course, guys, is to give you that confidence to take action because knowledge is, is, is it's just knowledge, guys. Knowledge may infuse you with a little bit of confidence, but I'm telling you, it, it's for not. It does not matter unless you start putting that knowledge into action, into action on your IEP meetings, uh, into action in, in your advocacy for other families, in your action in political activacy, in the in the education realm to change things. So hopefully the knowledge increases your confidence. And then, you know, like I said, we have the Advocates University Facebook page. It's closed. 
it's only available for those who have completed the course. And, but what I love is I love this small group, it's growing, but the small group of, of parents that have taken the course that are continuing to pull upon each other's knowledge and uh, the confidence is growing and friendships are being made uh, and collaborations built. And I am very proud that's the entire purpose behind this. This is why I'm excited to continue offering it. Um, and I believe that our value, uh, the value of this course uh, far, um, uh, I think that, that the benefit far uh, outweighs the investment. And I do believe that it is an investment for you. It's an investment in your knowledge. It's an investment of what you can give back, not only to your child's program, but to other people. I believe also it equips you uh, as an advocate to uh, create a viable business of your own to help other, other families as well. So proud to announce that we're gonna do another, uh, another spring and uh, I've worked my schedule to where we can do that. And like I said, uh, likely it's gonna start third week in March um, and then we have it to where uh, it's ending the week before Memorial Day, okay? So, and then tier two, I am gonna offer a tier two, but tier two is gonna be in the summer. Uh, so my fall, group that just uh, finished um, there a lot of them are going to join my tier two course uh, but then those of you that are in my my spring uh, if you want to you can move right into uh, the, the tier two which will start in june likely mid-june okay it's not as long and uh, um, uh, more intense uh, in my viewpoint because i've also honed it and made it better from the first time around okay Excited to offer that and uh, raising everybody's knowledge and confidence in this area. Mm -hmm.